Tyler here and we're back again for what's new at GP Knives. Let's jump right in. Today we're going to take a look at some new items we've got in stock and first up is our exclusive TR3 from Protec in acid washed CPM Magna Cut with fish scale milling on the handles. So this is their standard tactical response three design. The blade is CPM Magna Cut, a relatively new steel that offers an exceptional balance of edge retention, corrosion resistance, and toughness. And you can read more about CPM Magna Cut on the product page. For the handle, we have their standard hard anodized aluminum with a fish scale pattern texture milling. So a nice look as well as some added traction on there. The rest of the knife is standard production with a black DLC coated pocket clip that can be reversed for a left or right hand carry. And we've got their new single milled stainless steel slide safety. So the slide safety is a solid piece of steel for added reliability. And it does work in both the open and closed positions. So kind of a double safety there. The action on this is very strong. So nice decisive deployment there via that button lock, which also gives you a nice solid lockup. And of course, while this is technically a right hand carry, you can see that it is easy to operate with the left hand. So a great option if you're looking for a tactical or EDC automatic with a nice high performance construction. Next up, we've got another knife from Protec. This is the Runt 5. We've got it here in their modified Warncliffe in black DLC coated CPM 20 CV. So high end edge retention and corrosion resistance on that. We've got their alumina bronze handle. So a nice hefty and solid all metal handle. It is still reasonably light for daily carry thanks to some internal milling and it has a nice heavy stonewash finish on there. We've got their dimpled texture on the spine and it offers a solid three finger grip and is capable of some pretty heavy use while having that sub two inch blade, which is ideal for carry in less permissive environments. We've also got a mother of pearl inlay on the button for some added style and a black DLC coated deep carry clip for discreet and secure carry. And jumping over to a fixed blade, we have the SBR or short blade rock eye design from custom maker Les George. And we've got it here in the black DLC coated S35 VN blade and contrasting high vis orange G10 handle scales. And this is just a great compact daily carry fixed blade. You can get a nice solid four finger grip on there. It has his signature jimped thumb ramp. So very comfortable for heavy use. And of course you got a classic drop point blade, which is great for general utility with a relatively thin stock and a mid height saber grind, giving you a nice balance of strength and cutting performance. And this is going to come with a molded kydex sheath with spider code G clip. And this can be set up for a few different carry options. So nice, discreet and secure package for a daily carry fixed blade. Next up, we have some fixed blade knives from Boker Plus. This is the Brook designed by custom maker and fly fisherman, Joe Mangiafico. And we have a few different variations. They're all styled to look like various species of trout. And we'll take a look at these here. They are all essentially the same construction with a polished satin VG10 blade and layered G10 handle scales with some inset dots giving different patterns. So these two on the left are all G10 in the handle minus the copper lanyard hole. And the one on the right, this one has a little extra detail 
So we have brass and copper pins in the handle as well. So this one's gonna be a little bit heftier in the hand and have that extra style from the reflection on the metal inlays there. Otherwise, you're looking at the same design and construction. This is essentially a bird and trout knife that also has capability for use as a general outdoor utility knife. So great design, very simple and straightforward. You have a slight drop point on the blade, a high flat grind, some nice high traction jimping on the spine, and a very neutral handle that is contoured for comfort and has a nice distal taper for a secure grip. And these are gonna come with a molded Kydex sheath as well. Nice secure carry there. And you've got a removable belt adapter from Boker. And this can be set up for a variety of different carry options. These are great for outdoor use, especially the high visibility nature of the handles. So the brighter colors are gonna be easier to identify if you happen to set that out outdoors. Next up, we have another solid design from Giant Mouse Knives, the Korta. And of course, Giant Mouse is a collaboration between two Danish custom knife makers, Jens Anso and Jesper Voxnes. They are prolific designers and have a lot of production knives out there from various manufacturers, including their own custom pieces, as well as their Giant Mouse production line. So the Korta, has a lot of similarities from some of the previous Giant Mouse designs. They have nice contoured micarta handles, a very Scandinavian style blade made from Bowler's N390. We've got a brass backspacer there for a nice balance in hand and reversible stainless steel wire pocket clip for secure and discreet carry. We've got an inset stainless steel liner and a nice snappy bearing a pivot deployment there, solid four finger grip. This version here is satin M390 on the blade with natural canvas micarta for the handles. We've also got a stone washed version in green canvas micarta and then an all black version with a light tumbled black PVD on the blade and black G10 for the handles. So great if you're looking for a capable EDC for urban or outdoor carry and a nice compact and sleek design. Another winning design from Giant Mouse Knives. And last but not least, we've got some new additions from QSP. This is the Otter. And this is a little more high-end production for QSP. We've got a blade of S35VN and we've got these carbon fiber handles with metal foil inlay. So the silver here you see is an aluminum inlay and this gives a really striking look while still offering that carbon fiber performance. The sheep's foot blade is nice and utilitarian with a fairly stout point and it's got a very slim and lightweight design that's ideal for daily carry. Inside we've got steel liners and of course the liner lock for a nice solid and safe use. And a bearing pivot flipper for nice smooth operation and snappy deployment. Another premium upgrade here is a 3D milled tie pocket clip and that's gonna be set up only for right hand tip up carry. And we have a few different variations of this in the aluminum or in the copper handle and here we've got a black PVD coated blade with a tumbled finish and matching black hardware and clip and these are going to be available in four different variants with either the aluminum or copper carbon fiber and either the satin or black tumbled blade. Also from QSP we have their Eagle. The Eagle is a hawkbill style folder. We've got a D2 blade with two-tone satin and tumbled black finish. The handles have a feather milling texture 
for nice traction as well as style going along with the Eagle theme. And of course, we've got the karambit style end ring for use with standard karambit techniques and also just for added security in the hand. And this knife is going to be comfortable in a variety of grips and works well as a defensive folder as well as just a general utility knife. That hawk bill is going to have excellent slicing performance and of course a nice piercing tip on there. Bearing pivot flipper deployment is snappy and smooth and the inset steel liner lock of course is going to deliver solid lockup and safe use. And we have a standard stainless steel pocket clip set up for right hand tip up only carry. We have this in a couple variations here. We've got the black with the orange pivot collar and then a blue with a black pivot collar. And this is gonna have the same blade finish and standard silver hardware. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives. Thanks for watching, stay safe and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, like and subscribe below. Follow us on social media for updates on all new products and drop a comment below with your favorite pick from this week's update.